here in California, we have a lot of redwood trees. And redwood trees, while they're a native tree that grows up in the mountains, they're often used as an urban residential tree. There's three types of redwoods. There's this one, which is the coast redwood. We have the giant sequoia, which is the granddaddy of all sequoias. And then there's the dawn redwood. I have a video on dawn redwoods. You can look that one up. But today I want to talk about the giant sequoia. The giant sequoia is a beautiful tree and it used to do quite well as an urban tree. It'd get way too big, but the foliage would be nice. Unfortunately, there is a disease that's attacking these trees. It's a, it's a type of Botryosphaeria, and it causes the tips of the tree to brown out. If you look way, way up at the very, very tip top of this tree, you'll notice that the top has been taken out of it because the very, very top branch has died. It's kind of hard in this light to see the differences, but I can see lots of bits of brown. Way up high over here, it's starting to brown out, and there's little brown spots. But overall, the tree looks pretty good from this angle. Now let's go around to the back side. For some reason, the Botryosphaeria has hit this side of the tree really bad. It's already had a number of limbs that had to be removed that were totally dead, but now they're starting to migrate over, and this whole top section up here, all the branches are completely dead on this side of the tree. We're going to try to save this tree. We're going to cut out all the dead branches and as much of the dead as possible. But this Botryosphaeria disease is uh, its getting quite rampant in our area. And for that reason, I never recommend planting this particular uh, species of, of, of redwood tree. Uh, the, the giant sequoia really needs to live in its own uh, environment up in the mountains, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains and the, and the uh, parklands that have them. But down here, um, these people are very upset because this, they've lived with this tree for a long, long time and for the last decade it's slowly gotten worse. So will this Botryosphaeria kill the tree? Probably not, but ultimately it's going to disfigure the tree so badly that they'll probably want to remove it because it'll look pretty sad. Giant Sequoia. Five, six feet across at the butt.